All right, so in this one, we are gonna change our thank you page a little bit. So when they pre-order and it goes back to thank you, we actually want this to have something different. We don't want it to be just thank you for joining. We actually want it to say, hey, we got one more step going, uh, so they answer a few more questions. Okay, so to do that, first off, we want to open up our settings file because we're going to do some stuff in here. And then also, also open up views.py. And now we also want to open up thankyou.html. All right. So we want to just, let's just copy this sign up form. So cut it out, actually, and paste it. Cut it out of home, paste it into thank you. Now, if we go back into thank you and do a refresh, we now see our sign up form, which is a good start. Um, so in thank you, we'll say just one more step. Please fill complete the following. All right, so now we have complete the following. And if we go back into Komodo edit our models, um, we kind of want to know if whether or not it's for them. So the first question we could do is, you know, is this for you? But before we do that, we can't just change our models. Uh, if you remember the first time we do it, it's like it's almost like written in stone. We can't just change something here and then it and then it changes on the database too and things work correctly. Um, so what we need to do is actually convert it to south. First I want to do is a pip freeze to see if south is installed and it is installed. Okay, so now back into our settings file, under installed apps, we want to install south on Django. So let's save that and do python manage.py sync database sync db. Okay, so now you see this new thing that says not synced used migrations. Um, so migrations are allowing us to change our database and the structure of it. So we'll do python manage.py convert to south signups. So I'm running convert to south on signups because I already know that I have not changed anything here and I've already synced it to the beta database. And you can see that I've already synced it here. Now, if you change something here and then try and convert it to south, you'll get a lot of errors. Um, so don't do that. After you convert it to south, then you'll see this new folder here called migrations. Now, if, you, if you're running into a lot of errors and things just aren't going your way, this is what you can do. Hit delete all folders named migrations. Go into your settings file. Or excuse me, not in your settings file. Go into your, your finder window or wherever your folder is. Uh, go into the source. Look for that database and just delete it. Okay, so once you do that, then you'll want to do another python manage.py sync database. And it's going to ask you to install another auth user. And um, this is useful for testing purposes. Of course, you don't want to do this when you're live, um, which we can talk about later what you will do. Um, but when you're testing, you just want to make sure everything's working correctly. And now that I've I deleted the migrations folder and I sync the database again, now I can do a python manage.py convert convert to south and signups. Now it's converted to south. Now I'm back to where I wanted to be. Now that second part, of course, deleting the migrations and the database is not completely necessary, only if you get stuck and you don't know what to do that's the easiest fastest way to do it okay so now that we've done that we need to change our model a little bit and put a boolean field in here so we'll do um, for you equals models dot boolean field default equals true all right so then we'll do python manage.py now that we've made a change to the models file schema migration signups auto just like that now signups of course is the the app that we are doing the migration to 
and then we hit enter and you'll see that it says it's added this field and now we can run the manage.py migrate signups. So do Python and then manage.py migrate signups. All right, so now we can run server again. Okay, do a refresh on thank you and for you is there. So let's let's change what it says. So we'll do verbose name equals is this purchase for you? If so, complete the following. If so, check this box. Okay. Cool. So now it's saying, is it for you? If so, check that box. You can put their email, their name, and then submit. Now, of course, if we have um, their email and name, it's gonna do the exact same thing that we did before, uh, with the exception of the it's saving now whether or not it's for somebody. So um, let's just get rid of this block here. On, I don't like that it's in a block, so let's do a refresh here. This looks good. Is this purchase for you? Yes, Justin Mitchell. Okay, hit submit. We'll be in touch. Or instead of we'll be in touch, we can say thank you for your order. Thank you for your order. We will be in touch. Now, of course, you could always change kind of how this works and Maybe you could say underneath this, is this a gift? And um, you could change this to like end user's name and all that stuff. I'm not gonna really do that. Uh, but the point is, is now we have this thank you page finished and kind of ready to go. And then we can hit, instead of submit, we can just hit like, we'll change the value to complete sign up, or better yet, complete pre order and then we go back in here complete pre-order or maybe even finalize yeah so you can choose whatever you want so then once they do that then it's gonna say well it says field is required so you got to do this and thank you for your order we'll be in touch um, so once that happens, we should send an email. So we'll actually figure out how to organize email in the next